Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Open Llama, which is a project that offers several benefits for language models as well as researchers and developers. Now, this is something that you've probably heard about recently. Now, this is something that was actually released shortly after Meta's Llama large language model. And what this basically is, it's an open repository as well as a reproduction of this project. Now, it is now publicly available for anyone's use cases commercially. Now, what this release offers is a public preview of the 7 billion Open Llama model. So it's not the actual 30 billion model, but it's the 7 billion one at this current moment and which has been trained with 2 billion, 200 billion tokens. Now, this project provides PyTorch as well as Jax weights for, of pre-trained Open Llama uh, models. And this is something that you can access on Hugging Face. Now, as well as the evaluation results, as well as the comparisons, we were able to see that this original Llama model has been built upon to create Open Llama. And this is something that we're gonna be showcasing in today's video. We're gonna talk a little bit about the actual project, the roadmap, the open, the open, I mean the, sorry, the data sets as well as the training. We'll also take a look at the evaluations as well as a preview of some of the weights that are offered. So with that thought, before we actually get into the video guys, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so as there's a lot of value and a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So definitely check this out. If you guys haven't subscribed please do so guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can can also like this video comment anything you want to see and with that thought let's get right into the video so basically the llama model is a large scale language model that has been developed by meta ai which is facebook and they have recently acquired this actual project and llama is basically considered one of the largest language models with over 1.5 trillion parameters and i believe it's probably one of the closest to chat gpt and basically with this parameter it is capable of generating high quality natural language text however one of the issues that we were, we were able to find in my previous videos of llama is that uh, let me see if where it was but i'll leave the link down in the description below uh, of this actual video and what one of the difficulties we found was that it was for researchers and developers to access it for their actual projects. Now, what one of the benefits of this is that Open Llama has been released and the actual aims of the project is to provide an open source alternative to Llama. And this is what they have done in creating an open source Llama. Now, this project has been released on pre-trained Open Llama models with only 7 billion parameters at this current moment, which is very small compared to the actual original Llama, which had 30 billion. Now, the Open Llama model uh, has been trained for a large corpus of data, and this includes web, web trained like large corpus of data, as well as books, other text sources, and different sources to actually help you with the generative content of textual generation. Now this model can be fine-tuned for various natural language processing tasks such as like text generation, sentiment analysis, as well as language translation. So this is something that will be used for a lot of different use cases. And I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but many of these companies are slowly and progressively trying to get to the open source feature of their actual large language models as it's more accessible for a wide range of people and it's not restrictive to a bound of some sort of value. Now, the Llama Open Llama project provides PyTorch as well as Jack Weights, and this is something that I'll leave in the description below. And basically, with this, it's pre trained Open Llama models, making it easy for researchers as well as any user to use and access very easily. And additionally, the project has been evaluated on Open Llama's model against original Llama models, and this is something that we're going to check out later on. And basically, it's showing that it can generate high quality natural language text with a similar level of performances as the original Llama model. Obviously, you're not going to get the best generative content yet because of the weights are not as same as uh, Llama, the original Llama, but we're able to get something similar. And this is the great thing about it. Now, in the recent update, actually, which was released yesterday, they talked and released a new update, which includes a new checkpoint of 7 billion models trained on 3 billion tokens. And this is quite remarkable because the team of Open Llama has communicated with every user as well as their 
basic like following that they have found many existing implementations of llama that do not include the beginning of sentences and basically this is called boss and it's what generates time of a sentence and this is something that the 200 billion checkpoint of open llama is sensitive to and this may produce like a lot of suboptimal like generative results without the actual boss token and what they've done is that they implemented this with the 3000 300 sorry billion token checkpoint and this will in summary help it with the generative content of less sensitive generation and with more like basic optimal generation and what i wanted to talk about is how they actually train their data sets and this is quite remarkable because you're able to see there's a drastic decline of their training costs as they've been able to fine tune and release better tokens for use with this project now open llama project was basically trained it's I mean, it's trained its language models on a data set called Red Pajama. And this is something I actually made a video on previously. I don't know where it is because I upload so many videos. Oh, there we go. And they've been, they have over 1.2 trillion tokens. Now, this is a reproduction. This whole project, Open Llama, has a reproduction of their Llama training data sets based off of that Red Pajama data sets. And basically, they used it to train Open Llama models. Now, the like the pre-processing steps as well as the training hyper parameters used by open llama are exactly the same i would say as those of like llama's papers and this also includes model architecture as well as context to lengths training steps as well as learning rates and schedules that optimize the generation now the only difference i would say is that open llama's training settings as well as the original llama settings is the data sets that are used for the original llama the only difference between open llama training settings as well as the original llama settings is that the data set in which it was used open llama actually used red pajama which we talked about whereas the other one used the original llama now by following the same training methodologies as well as the original llama paper basically we're able to see that open llama can produce models that are compatible as well as comparable in quality to the original llama models now i definitely feel that they're able to slowly and progressively get to the same level as there's more tokens as well as different data sets being used and originally like eventually we'll get to a point where open llama will have 30 billion and this is in the works actually as it's part of the roadmap now this is something that we'll see slowly and surely as they tend to release more weights and releases of different usage and this is something that they talked about in their future plans which they stated that the current release is only of a preview of what is what the complete open llama release will offer we're currently focused on completing the training process of an entire red pajama data set which is quite remarkable guys because you know how big red pajama is and this will basically give a good apple to apple comparison between the original llama and our open llama other than the 7 billion model we are also training a smaller 3 billion model in the hopes of facilitating language model usage in low research use cases so they're also trying to work on smaller models that will basically optimize and facilitating language model usage in low research or low resource cases this is quite remarkable because you're able to hit the note on different aspects of generative content so you're able to get the best optimized results with the least amount of resources used so it's cheaper for you guys so this is quite remarkable guys and this is something that we're slowly and surely going to see over the coming weeks now one of the main things that i wanted to talk about is its roadmaps in the future we talked about how they're focusing on smaller things but looking into the future i also see that open llama project has a roadmap that includes several updates and improvements now the project aims to continue to improve the quality of its language models by training on larger data sets as well as refining training mythologies and this is something that the tr team has stated on twitter and you can also see some of the updates that they've talked about by following these guys on twitter as this is how i got the information from as they're slowly and like trying to get to a point where they can focus on larger data sets and this will definitely be able to be i mean it's going to be open source it's going to be backed by an amazing company and we're going to be able to get a lot out of this so it's going to be quite remarkable as to what they're going to be able to accomplish and that's basically it for today's update video on open llama guys 
Overall, I definitely see this project provides a lot of valuable resources for language models and researches, as well as by opening the source to a huge sort I mean like so a whole huge source of people and it'll be used for a lot of different use cases so I highly recommend that you keep a tab on this as it's gonna be quite remarkable as to what they're gonna accomplish so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching if you guys haven't seen in my previous videos I highly recommend that you do so and with that thought guys please subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and I'll see you guys next time have an amazing day have a great smile and I'll see you guys soon peace out fellas